hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Kessia Nazribi if this is your first time watching my video I'm excited to have you here and if you've been watching thank you for coming back today I'm gonna show you guys how I made this um, ponytail and this part in the front using um, detachable you know hair clippings and all that I can just put in there um, at night I can take this off and I'm also going to show you my makeup tutorial I got this simple lilac makeup okay um, you know I've been on this journey where I'm thinking of how I can style my hair in this really simple way that makes me look younger makes me look you know still on point and all that and kind of like just you know pronounces my natural hair i think um, i want to take a break when it comes to wearing wigs except i have to because it takes effort to do this every day okay but um i'm on this journey right now what can i do with my natural hair and sometimes a little clipping helps it goes a long way so this is done with clippings okay and a bit of um, styling gel so let's get into it let's get into how i put this look together hello um so i'm back again with trying to figure out what to do for my hair so i, I found a style that i think i like and i might do it for a couple of times until i overdo it and then i'll move on to the next one but the truth is i'm, I'm in a hurry so so this is not a day for trying to figure out another special style or something. That's why I'm doing the same style again. So start by doing the pattern. So I noticed that when I um, don't add like kind of air cream to my hair, it doesn't get all white, so which is good. So I'll use this again. I tried that yesterday and it worked really fine for me. So which is good. So what we do is we'll just start with the gel. Like I said, because I take out the gel every day, I'm not going to try to outlay it if that is correct. Like, I mean, I'm not going to try to put it all the way from the bottom because when I come back at night, I'm going to take it off. So what's the point? That's like, I'm trying to minimize my use of the gel while maintaining my, the style I was going for, if you get what I mean. So like I said, I learned that if I put this gel, if I don't add like cream to my hair and I put this gel, I can add my wax and I won't have the issue of it going all white and all that. So what I do is at night, I put the, I put my hair, I put the, the cream at night, I mean the shea butter and everything at night. And in the morning, I have my shower, I wash out the, you know, shea butter. I don't really just, I don't use any like maybe shampoo or anything i just let um the water just you know take it out and then i come style my hair
sun is coming out so <laughs> i like that so this one for this side This is nice, isn't it? See? It's nice. So now I can even still take my hair wax. If I want to really, 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 really laid, I have my hair wax. And I just put that over it. As long as there's no like cream in the hair and everything, I think it works. So far it's been working as long as there's no cream. Ooh, I love this sun. <laughs> um, so just use that to define the parts. Because I have really coily hair, not to brag. <laughs> so I kind of like to use the air wax because with just the gel, it doesn't really sit as much as I want it to sit. Don't know why. But So I'm going to add these air extensions to my hair. I'm not going to add everything because this is a full bundle. Um, maybe after this day, we're going to do another video where <laughs> I get to wash it and get it all coiled up because right now it looks a mess, but it's fine. Okay, so we'll do that out. So this is it's a clipping. Um, I think it comes with the clipping and everything. See? I got this on Amazon. Has the clipping. I've been I've been using this for a long time, so I felt like today I should do it again. So the first thing I have to do is I have to braid my hair at the back, like one. So I'm gonna braid it with you rope right there. You know. Once that is braided, you see that? Okay, now you're going to take the clippings, open them up, okay, and then you begin to wrap them around from the bottom, not really from the last place, but maybe from here that's a bit like, like that. You just begin to wrap them, okay? So you just go, you, you are gonna, you're gonna be going around. You know, I think I should really turn for you guys to see this. Okay, let's do this. Pick another one again. Open it up. One, two, three. And start here. Pin your hair. Creep it in. Very again, creep it in. Very again, creep it in. You see? Draw another one again. One, two, three. This is one of the best things I ever bought for myself. I swear. Because it's really human hair. And I've been using this for over a year. And it's really good. So I clip it. it just keeps going around. It's a 
think I'm gonna go down to my last one because I don't want it really full. See how nice it looks. And I'm not even done. So let me go, let me do one that is four. Okay. So open everything up. Okay. And this is gonna be the last one. Okay. Okay. Go again on that. Okay. Go around. Pin it. Go around. And pin it. So I pick one of this hair like this. And I use it to cover up the edge of that um, fitting. <laughs> it should be covered, hopefully. Because I can't really see it. And then I pin this up. Okay. All right. Ooh. Nice. Okay. So that is for the back. Um, I feel like there's some bumps out here, so I would pin that more. Pin that down. Okay. So among the clippings, I have the ones that are like two clippings, I have the ones that are one clipping. So the one that is one clipping, I'll use just two of that, like this two in the front. But it's not like it's really compulsory because I feel like I could just leave my hair if I want it really, really, like really simple looking and, and all that. But it's fine though. Do that again. Okay. So now, now that all that is done at the back, I'll leave the front for the last one. Let's do makeup. Fast, fast makeup because I should have been done and out of here before now. Okay. Let's do really fast makeup. Um, so I'm I'm wearing what I'm supposed to wear out, <laughs> so I have to be really careful how I apply my makeup because I don't want my clothes getting stained. Ooh, okay, brush. You guys know the drill of the makeup. I start with my um, you know, down here with the brown. The darkest shade goes down and goes it goes like at the top and at the bottom just to contour that areas okay once that is done sorry there's something out here once that is done and then I have some spots right there so I could use that to conceal that spot you see it's totally no more, it's not obvious anymore, so I'll just use that to cover it up. really nice let's do the nose contour once you get used to contouring your nose it's like you can't do anything without contouring your nose i don't know i look like a different person when i don't contour my nose i'm going to experiment on that
we're gonna use this Yvonne, um, you know, brown shade. I've been using it for a while now, which is fine. Just something simple on the eyes. It's really simple. It doesn't like overshadow the outfit. So which is why I like it. Okay, and then we will use the baking powder. This is the baking. Oh, that's really sunny. This is the baking powder I'm using. I'll put that over my eye brow so I can. So time for my eyeliner. I'm using this one. I don't think I'm supposed to use my eyeliner before my eyelashes, but I don't think I'll do the eyelashes today because I just can't be bothered. Now let's do the blush. Wow, today's makeup is really going pretty, pretty fast, which is good. Take your brown, just blend that in so it doesn't look like too pronounced, especially on the edges. I'm gonna blend the edges out. We know we wanna blush everything, but we don't wanna be looking like clouds. It's a difference. So, oh, and by the way, you have to do your under your eyes. Kind of just elevates the look a little bit. Okay. Oh. So today I didn't really put so much um, baking powder on my face, but I think I'm gonna do that now. You could just use this brush. Let's put that right there. Just to highlight it on the eye. The under eye is good because I think I slept good this morning. I slept well. I woke up late. So that's why you see that my under eyes looks really good. Okay. Um, you can do that right there. You can even do it on this side. Okay. 
so with makeup there's like no standard of how we should go like what you should do or what you shouldn't do what we just have is like some principles that applies that you have to follow okay i think my makeup is done like it's pretty fast today so let's do the lips i'm using black up and down and I'll use my hand to blend out okay okay now let me go back and do the the hair, the remaining part of the hair. Let's do the bronzer on the cheek. This is the same stuff we use for the eyes, so you can use the same thing for your cheek. I feel like I can still see some stuff on my forehead, so I'll just go in and cover that up. So, makeup is about just building it, it's like painting. I know it sounds cliche, and I've heard people saying that in the past when I was trying to learn how to do my own makeup, and I was like, what does that even mean? You know, it means it's you're building, it, you're building the art, you can go back and touch it and, you know, correct some things like I'm doing right now wetting some things on my forehead and covering all those um, spots with a brown powder so you see so this is going this way which is weird it's supposed to be going this way Fine. so if I loosen this out this is how it's gonna be so now I'm gonna add in the clippings that I told you about earlier and it's pretty simple I'll just um, you know open this up oh, this is too clipping. so these are the clipping I'm using just open up my clipping tool so what I normally do is I take out a big chunk at the base and I leave this side to be small I'll put that there, clip that in. What is happening? <laughs> it's refusing to stay clipped. Okay, good. So, do the other one right there. Okay. Good. And then let's see. What you can do is you can twist this up for a while and then go back and open it up. But I'll just take my Echo Styling Gel, which is my new favorite. It has been my favorite thing anyway for a while now. Take that and blend that into each other. Yeah. Yeah. And you can use your air clip. I would recommend you to use a smaller air clip. This one is too big. But fine. To just pin down that hair. Oh, I don't like how it looks. Oh. You get it drained anyway. Okay. So that is the styling for the day. So let me do my other things like my mascara. Use I'll use my setting spray on my face. But you know that the secret to having your makeup lasting all day is that you do not touch your face. You have to learn how not to touch your face. Because that is what ruins your makeup when you touch your face. You can touch your face when you get back home, but when you're out there. You have to try. Okay. So. 
try not to touch your face and make sure when you are doing your makeup you build it up as much as you can and i noticed that since i stopped using foundation it's been easy for my makeup to last all day because i don't have to worry about the liquid base everything is dry everything on my face is just dry so it's like perfect perfect hello so now um, i'm just gonna do the accessories get all everything rolling and then i'll show you guys the things that i bought um i'm gonna i'm gonna show you some of the things i bought from boohoo i don't know if i should try them on you know but i'm thinking of i'm gonna have to take off all my clothes and then try them on and this is the outfit i'm i don't know maybe i'll do that maybe i'll just show you guys and wear some of them if circumstance allows and to finalize my makeup i'm using this color because it goes with my dress which i also got from boohoo mm. uh, some of you might disagree with this look what do you think is it bad is it good And that is that. Let me wear some earrings. 